Hello my soccer universe. Last race of the sun here. <laughs> Making for an interesting pattern back there. Uh, yeah, let's talk about a rather crazy round in both Austria and Germany. And for once I will actually start in Germany where, yes, I went for the uh, positive headline that, uh, where I want to say, okay, I want to praise a team for their performance rather than, um, you know, uh, say the, uh, of talk much about the errors in at least in the title of the video. But we definitely have to talk about the multiple errors that have been committed as well. Um, we have some uh, decisions made, but you know, the, the DFB uh, justice system have been rather busy. There were, you know, last time we talked talked about there was a cup thrown and a linesman. Now we had a team playing with 12 men for a few seconds. So rather, rather interesting. But I think uh, what Leipzig did uh, was rather impressive. And again, uh, yeah. <sighs> Should I get a Leipzig jersey? I don't know. By the way, new jersey up there. You haven't seen the unpacking yet, but if you watch this video, you see one. I got a second Bayern shirt and this one was for free. <laughs> so very happy with that, but it's not in the best cold condition. It's not my favorite Bayern jersey, but it, I'm quite pleased to solve the second Bayern problem with almost no money. Okay, and yeah, in Austria, uh, I will not tease it. Lask played the so-called Upper Austria Derby. As I said, uh, our opponents read definitely think a little bit more of it as a derby than I personally do. Uh, yes, we are the same uh, province of Austria, but I don't see them as our big rival. So be it. It was the craziest 20 minutes in that entire rivalry. And unfortunately it didn't end well for Lask. But yeah. Uh, to Germany with go. I mean, it started so innocuous with Union Berlin, which I'm wearing, uh, winning 1 0 against Köln, despite me not really liking that, that result. Then a pretty big relegation uh, um, clash between um, Bielefeld and Stuttgart, a game where honestly uh, it was. In both halves, when the goals were, were, were scored, it went actually a little bit against the run of play. Bielefeld were a better team to start side off than uh, a rather stupid uh, handball. I mean, it seemed like no, no, nothing, but if you're, yeah, it's a key handball. It needs to be a penalty. Uh, Lars Kalajic, uh, I think it was Wimmer, um, Lars Kalajic to um, uh, score a 1 0. Then Stuttgart was the better team. Stuttgart should have decided that game. But they don't. And Bielefeld get a 1-1 uh, through Krüger. And that was that. 1-1. Uh, basically nothing decided. And again, um, yeah, Bielefeld jersey. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, Bayer Leverkusen, rather convincing 2-1 win over Hertha. They they score them much, 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 much closer than it really was. Um, uh, great goals in there. Uh, Hertha, they say for the first time, Felix Magath in there. And I think they are, they are giving themselves a fighting chance. Uh, Frankfurt only this at one nil nil against Greuther Fürth, And then we have to look Freiburg, Freiburg Bayern Munich. First half, rather tense, even game, nil nil at the half. The deadlock is then broken with a... a Admittedly, pretty good free kick by Kimmich, who plays it right into this, you know, uh, phase where the goal kick goes. But does he need to come out? Does he not? It's really nasty played, and Goretzka is attacking the ball, gets it before the goalie. One nil. Uh, however, Freiburg uh, do. Uh, Ig was through Peters in 63rd, but then Gnabry and Coman 73rd and 82nd put the game out of reach. And it's at this point that probably the craziest scene of the entire season happens. Uh, King, uh, Kingsley Coman and Tolisso should come off and Sule and Sabitz are coming off. The problem is that whoever held up the, no, the numbers put up Coman's old number. So Coman didn't feel that he shouldn't come off. And suddenly in the 85th minute, one player, Tolisso, comes off. Sule and Sabitz are come on, but Coman is not coming off. And it needed Schlotterbeck from, uh, was it Schlotterbeck? Uh, I don't know, uh, from uh, Freiburg to, um, to uh, alert the referee, hey, there are 12 men, 
and then they're counting. You see them all counting and counting and counting. And then you see all the pleading from the Bayern officials where, um, please, please, please let this go. Let, let this go. Now, I have to say, from a footballing point of view, those 20 seconds or 12 or whatever did not have any impact on the game. However, I am reminded that, and this was the same referee where uh, that allowed Wolfsburg to make a sixth substitution in a cup game, which... Um, had them expelled from the competition. So it, there is a little bit. Germany can be rather, rather tough in these things. Uh, but the annoying thing in many ways is that it is upon Freiburg to make an appeal. And Freiburg made this very, 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 very clear. This is not a serious situation we want to be in. This should be uh, investigated by some of It should not be because of an appeal of ours that we have to move on. And I just read Freiburg is appealing the result in order to clarify this. And it might well be that this result is annulled because of that, uh, because of the, uh, the error. And I think uh, the German uh, league have been rather, ra rather tough, tough, tough. I think there was a similar situation. I want to say a Frankfurt coach Topmüller once did that uh in the ninth night is where he had an additional substitution that he shouldn't have done and suddenly the gate uh, um uh, that the, the, the result was wiped out for a game that they actually had fully under control so um that is interesting definitely how how this is gonna happen the game ended in the 4-1 sabitzer scoring his first goal for bayern uh but that's gonna be an interesting uh decision to be made for sure uh, Bochum with a sensational 2 0 win over Hoffenheim. Hoffenheim playing in Africa jerseys, uh, which were not actually that expensive except for the shipping, because I was actually look. Uh, I gotta say I was looking at those. Um, however, the big clash was Dortmund Leipzig, and what a game that was! For the first 20, 20 minutes, it gotta be said Dortmund was the more active team. There was one where uh, I think it was Reus going into the box. He can take he, he 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 can take a shoot, but he passes over to Haaland, who is nowhere. If that's 1-0 for Dortmund, it would be all, all deserved. But then Lima with probably the action of the weekend. Uh, he is pressing um, Emre Can. After he already pressed before, he presses on M Emre Can, who, lo who, who loses the ball. The ball falls to Nkunku. He makes the run further, 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 creates the entire goal. The ball is nicely played into his path. And then he, he chips it over the goalkeeper 1-0. 100, uh, absolute wonderful goal. And if you see the builder, please make, if you can see how that's, please go watch the house and especially see how Lima is creating this goal in his own half press, making two twice presses, is attacking, staying in the game and then going in to, in the attack. He then uh, scores the second one again, a Nkunku shot uh, deflected towards him, deflected into goal, 2 nil, and the game is done. There was no way for Dortmund to come back in there, and Leipzig is really taking it. Then uh, he Lima with another great, uh, and that's a player for the Austrian national team, who could be so brilliant if we had a coach. But that's a completely different story. I'll talk maybe in the Austrian stuff about that. But that again, he we, uh, with a little back heel to Nkunku three three nil, and that's how that's how game is. It was absolutely brilliant uh, play by Leip Leipzig, who are definitely in the new year the best team in Germany. At this very moment, they just messed up the beginning of, of the season. But Leipzig looking suddenly like Lyre, Lyre, Leipzig again. Yesterday, Augsburg with a big 3-0 win over Wal Wolfsburg. That in the relegation battle could pay dividends and Gladbach only a 1-1 against Mainz. So uh, if we look at the standings currently, up top nothing changes. The top four, other, other top four meaning Bayern, Dortmund, Leverkusen, Le Leipzig. If the three points are taken away, it still doesn't have because Dortmund lost so badly. So yeah, but it could uh, pay huge for Freiburg, who then would stay uh, level with Leipzig. So that would be one thing, but still Leipzig very, 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 very much uh, the favorites here. Only Berlin now going this last European spot for the conference uh, league. And on the bottom, as I said, Augsburg really getting a big lift. Uh, Hertha still in the 26, 26, 27, between Stuttgart, Bielefeld and Hertha. One of those will survive, one goes in relegation uh, and one, uh, playoffs and one will get relegated. Um, it's hard to say who it will be, but I actually think Stuttgart at the moment look the safest in many, 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 many ways. We actually have also an interesting round coming up. 
uh, with the Berlin Derby and the you know fake club derby between Leipzig and Hoffheim. So that's going to be in interesting. We also have a little Bavarian derby, Bayern Munich against Augsburg, because Augsburg, they usually do something in uh, Munich. That's in, in, in interesting. It's not a uh, long drive as well from there. Okay. Going over to Austria, uh, do, do, do we need first of all, I mean, uh, the search for the coach continues. it will probably be an Austrian coach, but I just, just will say, uh, what has names that have been dropped, like Ronald Kummer and Zinedine Zidane, and you're thinking, yeah, and they're exactly going for the Austrian job. I, I personally always say, take the coach of the B team of Salzburg, Liefering, and appoint him as a national team coach, and we are set for uh, the next few years. Not gonna happen. It. I think it will be a Vienna so solution. And I'm, at the moment, my money is on Peter Stöger because he will have the name and the cloud. And yeah, it will be a very entertaining national team in a sense. They will have a lot of fun, but it will not be a successful one. Okay, relation group last game. The Easter Bunny doesn't need to come to uh, <laughs> anymore because the gifts that have been given to Reed unbelievable. First off. Our sporting director seemingly tipped off the lineup on the evening of the game and it went all the way to Reed, where um, suddenly, for the first time ever, Sako and Latar, a uh, French and a warrior guy, are playing in, in the inner defense. They have never played like that and they have barely played this season. Suddenly, in the big derby, the two of them start. And the two of them implode like nothing. Thing. Like absolutely nothing, especially Lerta had the stinker of the season, uh, at least for Lusk, I gotta say. Uh, in the fourth minute, uh, it's a ball that he wants to uh, head back to the goalie. The problem is Schlager is in the other uh, corner and so goes via the post and into the own net. Horrible. Then he misses a sitter. What was it, Sacco? One of those two. Sitter uh, on the other end. Little, a little bit later, I mean, they're already then caught out in defense a few a few more times, but then a long ball to a, a reed striker. He goes past both defenders, Schlager, the goalkeeper needs to come out, and Latar pushes him. Penalty, red card. Goodbye. However, the penalty is saved. Uh, brilliant save, and Reed already missed a, pen, uh, a penalty in the fall in the stadium there. Uh, huge scenes, emotion, emotion, and, and, and you can see it was full stadiums, as in Germany, it was full, full, full stadiums, and, and it was a hot, it was a really, really hot atmosphere in many ways. But then uh, you think every everything's cleared, and then the referee said, no, last player got in early, retake penalty. Yes, they retake the penalty. It is saved again. It is saved again. All the excitement is going. Corner kick from the corner kick, free kick on the other side. 2-0. Two 2-0. Two then the Reed players are celebrating in front of the Lask fans. Uh, two Lask fans almost storming the pitch, holding themselves back. But of course, cups are thrown, blah, blah, blah. Game abandoned for five minutes, killed off game. 2-0 loss to Lask. For Lask, uh, hurt a whole lot. But I have to say, those were the most entertaining 2020 minutes I've seen. Because for the sheer drama and ineptitude for Lask. In many many ways so congratulations to you suckers in Reed but yeah uh, up top Sturm solidifies the second spot and Salzburg outlasts Rapid Vienna 2-1 so yeah uh, not too, too, too many changes I mean uh, Alter gets some points uh, Tirol uh, regain on the bottom so but you know it's not too much happening so I think we can leave it at that in any case Please let me know if you thought, saw anything of these games, uh, what you thought. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and also hit the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day.